Hello, once again, this is Coach Oliver. Welcome to round number seven of the Tata Steel Chess Masters 2023. And one of the highlights of this round is Wesley Sauce win against uh, the out of form uh, Gukesh. Gukesh has lost, well, how many games now? Four games, I don't know, four or five. Yeah, four games, I guess. This is just a lot for Gukesh, yeah? Okay, the inexperience uh, in the elite, elite level is uh, showing here, and uh, it's not easy. You know, coming from a loss, also, it's so disheartening. And uh, when, when you are not ready, uh, it's just the losses kept piling up. Uh, okay, let's take take a look at uh, this game by Wesley. Okay, I mean the elite players are just merciless predators yeah once they smell their prey is uh defenseless and they will just go and grab Whew. i do all right let's take a look at this one e3 5 96 we should be five knight of 63 we have the royal office should see five c3 castles castles d5 Okay, by the way, d3 is an, an anti-Berlin, yeah, if, if White Castle is here, I, I guess Wesley will go for knight takes d4. If you go d4 and then knight d6, bishop takes e6, takes e6, uh, Wesley has a few games with this one as well, can take d8, can take d8. But I guess with the, with the few losses, I think Guka should have played this line, you know, change queen and try this equal game. Uh, just to minimize the bleeding. But he went for d3, okay. Showing some fighting in this game. Bishop c5, c3, castles, castles, d5. Takes after bishop c4, now he transposes into more of like an Italian type of setup. Queen d8, b4. Typical in the Italian bishop d6, you have you have to protect e5 because white's planning to go b5 and knight a c5. So knight bd2, h6, all right, well, not allowing this knight g5 to knight e4. Rook e1, rook e8, a4, a6, queen c2, bishop e6, okay, typical. Should be to queen e7, normal developing move, rook e2, bishop f5, rook e1. White doubles up on that point on e5. Black also tries his defense with rook e8. Yeah, nice, nice rooks. All right, two rooks, four rooks, by the way, on the e5. Knight into e4, knight h5, a threatening knight of four. So white has to go back to c1. Of course, the threat on f4 is so strong, so he has to. Take the bishop to c1, and if the knight jumps on f4, then he will take the knight on f4 here. King into h8. I like this move by Rusty. Moving out of this danger zone here, and probably going back here with bishop h7 and f5. This is also a plan. Knight into h4. Now Wesley has this bishop h7 or bishop e6. Which one? He went for the e6. Okay. He wants to get rid of that c4 bishop. So queen d1, queen d8. b5 was played by white. So I'm not too sure about b5. I, I guess white has to go g3. Maybe Gukesh was okay. Uh, he had uh, he had doubts with uh, maybe black will go for bishop takes h3. But let's take with it. If, let's say black takes the pawn. And well, if you play king h2 and then there's bishop g4, of course, yeah. So white should go where uh, rook c2, rook d2, whatever, you know, this rook move. Maybe I still go for knight f4. That's why Gukesh didn't play g3. He, he went for b5, okay, attacking the knight. After knight a5, bishop takes e6, rook takes e6, but this is good for black now. Queen into c2, takes in b5, takes in b5, b6. All right. d4, knight f4. Black is in control. g2 is weak. 
Queen B5 is coming. This B5 pawn is also a target. He played rook D2. Aha, uh -huh, okay. I think that's the final mistake. Oh, yeah, the decisive mistake of the game. White has to play. Bishop takes f4 here. Uh, all right, uh, you you will lose uh, the exchange here with uh, two minor pieces for the rook, but uh, the position later on will be playable with these. Okay, you have to go c4, g6, d5, takes, 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 queen f4. And it's unclear. Yeah, you have white has the control of the e file. Queen is attacking f5, although the knight is also after ah, ah. sign the c4. So we have chances for both sides. White should have played this. Rook d2 just wins for black without any danger at all. You're blocking the bishop. Knight here. Yeah. That's a strong knight attacking g2. Yeah. So Wesley finds the move queen d5, g2, b5. Knight e3. It's not possible also for the queen to protect that pawn on b5 because there's d takes e4. The rook takes is coming up. Queen takes f5 as well. That's a double attack. Knight e3, queen takes b5, one pawn down. After d5, rook g6 with that pressure on g2. The bishop comes to c5, for example, takes on e3. So knight g3, bishop into c5 now. It was also possible for black to go e4 here, not allowing queen e4. All right, or maybe Wesley was uh, worried about c4, queen to d7. All right. Bishop c5 wins anyways. Queen into e4, no problem. This bishop takes e3. One takes e3. If if let's say black, sorry, white takes with the rook, there's a double attack on c4. Same as queen. So it's forced to capture the pawn. Good move by West, the knight c4 attacking the rook. If you take that knight, this rook takes g3. Mm -hmm. ooh, 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 what to do here? What to do, Yanni? If you put this rook on f2, this rook takes e3. Just keep taking. You cannot take e5. This rook takes e5 thanks to the knight. And that rook also is pinned. So rook f2 is rook f2, just so passive and fast. Knight d6, nice move. Threatens the queen, protects f7. Threatening knight d3. <laughs> Game over here. Yeah? Here, Gook has resigned. Okay, if they play Queen F3, then I leave. All right. That was a merciless win by Westy. I mean, Bukesh is basically out of form. Oh, um, okay. All right. This is his first elite tournament. Uh, you can understand the feeling. And uh, it's very tough. It's mentally tough to play against the elite. You should not lose your concentration. And I mean, the elite players, the the margin of error is so small. I like when you're playing two six, uh, between two six to six fifty. Okay, you make a mistake, you can recover. But against the elite, one small detail, you miss one small detail, it's game over. That's how good this Carlson's, this sauce, Yuri's, Carwana's, they're, they're very, very good here. That's why they've been in the top 10 for quite a long, long time. All right. And okay, it's again a learning experience for Gukesh. We're just hoping that he, he doesn't lose hope. All right. After, okay, because again, Sometimes when, when you keep losing, you, you lose your confidence, yeah. You get depressed. Hopefully it doesn't happen to Bukesh. Look at Magnus. He he lost back-to-back -back games, but drew his game against Van Forest and today winning over a port. What a character, yeah. He still has that fighting ability even after losing a few games. So if Gukes finds this uh, attitude, like what Magnus is showing, 
then he, he has a great future ahead. But for now, uh, it's uh, it's Lucas time to just learn, just keep learning. That's part of the game here. That's it's part of your journey as a chess player. So that was it. Back to back wins for Wesley, and he's tied for second place behind uh, Noderbeck, who has five and a half. Wesley on four and a half, tied with Giri and uh, Pragnananda. All right, that's round number seven. All the Tata Steel Masters 2023. Thank you for your support on Charts Must Chess and Charts Must Entertainment. Please can reach your this. Let's go, Charlie. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good day.